Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're gonna to show you how you can change something like this into something like this. So you can do something like this. So stay tuned. We're gonna show you how you can have fun with your Coke bottle before you recycle it. Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how you can turn a two liter bottle into a water bottle rocket. With materials you probably already have around your house. And at the end, we'll talk more about today's science topic, air resistance. So now we have to go to the store to get some materials and through the magic of editing, it's only going to take about eight seconds. Are you ready? And we're back. This is a super simple demonstration. All you're really gonna need is a two liter plastic bottle, some cork tops, a little bit of tape, a styrofoam cone for the top, but you could even use a tennis ball and tape it to the top of your rocket if you wanted to. Of course, you're gonna need a drill and a needle for your air compressor or air pump. Each rocket is going to need three fins. We would first draw the pattern of the fin on our foam board. With our patterns drawn, it was time to cut them out. And once you have your fins ready, you can start assembling your rocket. Turn the water bottle upside down and you can tape or glue the fins to the bottle. The closer you have your fins to the area of thrust, the more stable your rocket will be. With the fins on, now it's time to attach your nose cone. The last step is to drill a small hole for your air needle to go through. We used a 1 16th drill bit. Now that that's finished, time to fly the rockets. So behind me we have our setup. We have the air compressor which has the hose going straight into the cork. The cork we pushed as far as we could into the bottle. You can totally use a hand pump, but you'll be close to the rocket launch and you won't be able to see it that well. We bought a compressor off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Although I doubt nobody's watching this video going, I could use a new compressor. So there's our compressor. This is either gonna work or burn out the motor. I feel like we're about to have a Tim Taylor moment. One key thing we forgot to mention so far is before you put your cork on, you're going to need to add about 200 ml of water to help with your propulsion. Another thing we're going to do is record our flight time from start to finish. We're going to record the first one without a parachute and see what happens. What's that, what that say, 2.63 Two. Two seconds. Now to see the effects of air resistance, we want to add a parachute. Basically increasing our surface area without adding that much mass. And we'll see how long it takes to come down. All right, so now we're going to add a parachute. Let's see if that changes our total flight time. <laughs> Uh, 308. A little bit longer. I'm not sure it was because of our parachute though. By the way, we're doing all this in the backyard. And you remember a few videos ago when we made the vertical bed? Check it out. It's doing great. This plant is taller than I am. To show you that you don't really need any fancy equipment, this time I'm gonna pump it up with a manual pump. And I'm pretty sure anybody with kids has a ton of these laying around the house. I'm also gonna tape the GoPro to the rocket because I'm a guy. We do dumb things. Okay, so move out from the camera. Our first attempt, we had the GoPro on the side. Obviously, that's going to change our center of mass. So here, we taped it to the top. Let's see. Thank you. 
Air resistance is the force of air on an object as it moves through it. It's not a very strong force. In fact, as you're walking, you really don't feel it. Generally speaking, the amount of the force depends on the size of an object and its speed. If you start to run, you definitely will feel it. Another example is holding your hand out the window. The faster the car goes, the more air resistance you'll feel. If you like this video, watch our other video we did on rockets. We go into greater detail about Sir Isaac Newton and his three laws of motion. And if you've made it this far in the video, do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week.